When you drive out here and you see these bison standing on those ridges, it is just the right thing. They belong in this landscape. This is an iconic species. I could not imagine this prairie without bison. My name is Hina Shamoon. I'm a conservation biologist with Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute. I work out in American Prairie Reserve trying to understand how bison are engineering this landscape. We're experimenting on some GPS solar tags that are being fitted to the ear of many of the bison so that we can track the movements of as many animals as we can. These tags are originally designed for cattle and we're adapting them for bison. One of the real benefits is that they're cheap. Under $50 a tag, we can put many on animals for about the same price as one GPS collar we can look at collective movements of entire herds rather than one individual, which is important for bison because they're social animals and they move together. For the last three months, we've been baiting bison into a catch pen, slowly getting them used to eating hay, having water available to them. They can come and go as they please. As the dates gets closer to where we actually have to handle the bison, we close the gates, and at that point they're captured. This is when we also do other work like put ear tags on and disease testing. Our facility was designed to be as low stress as possible. Lots of big curves, no square corners, nowhere for bison to catch body parts on. This has them using their natural tendencies to move through the facility, so it makes it much easier on them. It takes a lot of people, and we couldn't do it without everyone that was here to help. Each day in a holding pen, we'll split off a group of five to 10 bison. They go through the hub where they are moved forward one at a time. And then they are at the single shoots where the bison walk into there's not a lot of room in there for them, so they can't injure themselves. We want to make sure they stay as calm as possible. We move them up to the squeeze chute. The squeeze chute is a hydraulic chute that captures the bison by putting pressure on its body and holds its head in place. This is where we put out GPS tags and take the disease samples. Once this is all done, the bison is let go and get them back with the herd as quickly as possible. These tags are programmed to collect a position every hour. They transmit that data immediately to a antenna network. We've set up three antennas, so in near real time, we can view them on our handheld map. The GPS ear tag research project that we're partnering with Smithsonian on has the potential to move bison research forward. This is because it's a very low cost way of getting data from bison. And it also has management implications. We can real time see where these bison are on the landscape and it can improve our reaction time to if there is something, whether a flood or a disaster, we know where they are, when they left, and we can go find them much easier if we need to. Very exciting week this week. We've tagged 89 individuals, we took blood samples. We'll know the kinship, we'll know the interactions, the relationships between them. I am super excited. This is cutting edge science. This is the first time something like this has been done. It opens up a whole new world for us to understand how bison are engineering this landscape. <laughs>